Hello everyone and welcome back to Web Knowledge. Today I am going to show you how to enable content security in Grandstream routers. So I am going to log in Grandstream router, quickly entering the username and password. Now I'm going to network setting and navigate to network installation. By default, hardware installation is enabled. You have to disable it. Otherwise, content security will not work. You can see here, it is clearly mentioned content security will not work if it is enabled. So we are disabling it and clicking on save. So I have disabled hardware installation. Now the second step is to navigate to LAN setting and edit. Now you have to remember you do not have to set global DNS and make sure you have to set the DNS server as your router IP address. After saving it, The third step is to go navigate to firewall option and content security. Now there are three options DNS filtering, app filtering and URL filtering. So we are going to use app filtering and we have to add here and give a name and description for this content filtering rule. This is to identify. So the name can be anything. I'm using same description for the content security and we can hear multiple uh, rules and we can select all or particular sites or applications. So I'm selecting media streamings all the application are restricted in the content security and similarly I am selecting social streaming sites social networking sites so Facebook Twitter Instagram LinkedIn I have selected all so you can see I have selected YouTube as well now saving this rule after save, navigate to traffic rules and click on forwarding rules. So we have to basically add a forwarding rules to restrict the users. So I'm giving a name to this forwarding rule content security. IP family should be any and protocol type should select it to all source group should be LAN and the destination group the destination group selected to be as a, your WAN interface so action should be set as accept and now enable content security Now you can see here advanced setting if the rule action is accept content security act as a block list and can deny or drop the request in content security. Now enable content security and select either deny or drop. So I'm selecting drop. If you have added DNS filtering or app filtering select it here. So I have added app filtering option and I'm selecting and saving it. So now I'm checking if our content we have selected is blocking or not. So we are testing in an incognito window and adding a new incognito window. 
now first i'm trying facebook facebook.com and similarly i'm opening youtube.com now you can see both the facebook and youtube are not working similarly you can use on your mobile application as well it will not work so these are banned So our content security is working properly and I'm going to enable it again. Sorry, I'm disabling it and showing you back that after disabling, it is working properly. Now I have disable forwarding rule and checking again. Now you can see Facebook is opening and as well YouTube is also opening. If you enable the content security rule, then it will. So you just have to navigate to network setting and into the LAN, set your DNS as router IP address and do not set a global DNS like 8.8.8. .8 .8. After that, you have to go to network isolation and disable it then navigate to firewall and so i'm again showing and you can see youtube is not opening and facebook as well not opening so the content security is working well thank you for watching this video please subscribe